But today, I would like us to focus on the book of Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah's ministry began when there was a national crisis in the northern nation of Israel, kind of like what we are having right now. Uh, we are having global crisis. And during that time, God clearly and strongly exposed their sin, the sin of the people. They were laden with iniquity. There were many, many people who are evildoers, doing things that are self-serving to them, greediness, and, and all the sins are just being exposed. And more than that, it provoked the righteous to anger. It really provoked the Lord to, the, to, to His anger. That's why... Uh, if you will know, in verse 18, you know, with his wrath, he said, let's settle this matter. Come and I will uh, wash your sins as white as snow. And, and that's what happened there. And then we all know that uh, when they were, uh, they, were, they were repenting, Israelites were repenting, then things will go back to normal again, meaning they're normal and say, okay, they will have a hard heart again. There will be sins again. And King Uzziah was was the the king back then. And when, uh, and when he was on his kingship, he was actually the great and wise king. And you know, people are really being watched over. He's really doing his duties. But on chapter six, King Uzziah died. And because he is a great king and a wise king, Isaiah in his ministry has all the reason to be disillusioned or disheartened or discouraged. He has all those things. It's as if like this is the only king that is wise and great after all the years. Now, during my ministry, during the time that I'm rising up, now a great king and a wise king have died and he has... All the, you know, his emotions is valid for him to ask, him, where, where was the Lord in, in all of this? But God's holiness has been, has been never hidden. And he actually saw a vision. And it says in verse 1 of chapter 6, The Lord sitting on a throne, high and exalted, with the train of his royal robe, filling the most holy part of the temple. Verse 3, And one called out to another, saying, Holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is filled with His glory. First, the Lord was sitting on the throne. It, you know, it did not dethrone the Lord when there was sin, when there was issues, when there was uh, bad things happening in the world. It did not dethrone. Rather, He is there, sitting on the throne, high and exalted. And you know, it was, it was kind of like, what what were what's happening right now? People were asking, "Where is the Lord in all of this?" But He's high and exalted. But the problem is, what are we magnifying? What are we exalting? Are we exalting Him? Not only Him being a King, but His love, His holiness, His power, His wisdom. Are we exalting it? Then all the issues that is happening right now globally. Are we like the seraphim that is on fire, that is saying, at, even at this season, that holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is filled with His glory. The holiness of the Lord, it has to be emphasized because in here, it's just being acknowledged that God's holiness is a part of everything He is and does. That God's power is a holy power, that God's love is a holy love, that God's wisdom is is a holy wisdom holiness is not an aspect of god's personality but it is entire being and and when there is the holiness but when there's the being of the lord that is filling the earth with his glory and we should not in any way take it away or stop it or crush it and give the ball to the enemy to still kill and destroy we should not in any way do that but in all ways we should exalt his holy love his holy power his holy wisdom that in all the things that we will do though be holy love not a self-serving love not a selfish love but we will do things out of love we will speak things out of love we will do things with the wisdom of the lord because 
that is who he is and that is what we are representing as Christians. And I pray that even in this time that it's probably hard, you know, to to see in an obvious manner the glory of God right at this season, I pray that as Christians we will step up and we will know that it's still not hard, it's not impossible to see the glory of the Lord that is filling the whole earth. I pray that we will see clearly, like the seraphim does, that the earth is full of God's glory. That we will take part for other people to see this rather than sins, issues, hardships. I pray that as we go out there and help in our own way, we will reflect the glory of God that in these trying times, there is still the Lord that is moving us, moving in us, moving through us, and moving for us. That in these trying times, there is still holy power, not only the power of the, the rulers of the world, the king or the, the people who are in the higher ups, but this time, I hope that we will know and we will exalt and we will speak that there's this holy power that will enable us to be righteous in His sight, that will put things into its proper place, that will make order of all the seemingly chaotic world. Lord, we thank You, because Your original design of the world is that it is filled with Your glory. Father, I pray that all of us Christians will step us and will reflect Your holiness in any way that we will do, in any way that we will speak in any way that we will think in any way that we will help lord god father we speak lord god that the enemy is defeated at this time and we will not in any way give him the ball to steal kill and destroy but lord we acknowledge that all these things will not dethrone you but lord you are still sitting on your throne high and exalted lord god lord we thank you we magnify you lord jesus we 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 praise you, Lord, even in these trying times, Lord God. I pray that you continually send out help to the needy, Lord God. We will continually send justice to the people that are encountering injustice. You will continually make Christians rise up, Lord God, and help in any way that we can. You will continually protect the frontliners. You will continually give holy wisdom to the government. You will continually give holy love to the people, Lord. Father, we thank you. We magnify you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.